Hi guys, welcome again to Hyperland. I've been working last week on Hyperland like it seems like forever. There were some issues with Hyperland and it just froze up. So there is a new release on the Hyperland GitHub, right? I've built already myself a new ISO for Hyperland. We can do that with Arclings B Hyperland. And the packages that we that I, you see now that we have now are on the test repo so I'll, I'll release them and it will have its effect on your system hence i need to make a video right telling you that this is um yeah a major change from 22 to 23 it feels like it's nothing but like i said i've been testing hyperland freezing 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 we thought about asking well renaming hyperland to frozen land right or just frozen but then maybe we'll have conflicts in copyright anyway we persevered right we persevered and we figured out where what line didn't work and why it was frozen now we changed the there are two things actually three four things but two major things that is there's the hyperland application sudo pacman minus s arclinux hyperland configuration right that one so now it's coming from the testing repo and that's the version that's the new code for 23 the application is going to be completely different. It's going to be sudo pacman minus s hyperland. And we have our own package, right? We don't rely on the one from AOR because we want to keep a stable system. We, want to, we don't want to have this package just updating automatically. We would like to keep the reins on it, like keep control. So we build it, we test it, and we release it to you. That's different, right? So Hyperland Dev is a version, a certain version from their GitHub. And we test it, it's deemed okay, then we release it. That's the procedure. The current package is also Hyperland Dev, and it's on not on the repo testing, but on the, the normal repo. We can check that out like this. The default one that you're using is not coming from testing, but it's coming from third party. Nope, not that one. Is this one, right? 22. So something happened between version 22 and 23 which gave us a week of troubles but now we can move to 23 the thing is we move in number right rather than following the version that's a a a, a release basically in github you can do releases and you can give it a name instead of using 22 23 24 I rather like to work with the latest GitHub commit. So basically, what we're using is already better than the 23. That's the official release. Okay, well this means you have two things to, to keep in mind. If you're updating your system, you need to have 2308 and you need to have this name r or release of a commit on github 2642 which means let's maybe go there and you say github and then hyperland uh, accept everything go in here it is really a number just a number 462 or four, 2642 you see that's the number of commits made to their github so we know the code from now today nine nine hours ago right that's the code we use 
and later on other commits will follow and we'll see in the overview okay we have already four new things after hours so bottom line bottom line stay safe how do you stay safe you go inside the dot config you go for hyper control c control v i usually rename it to hyper mine right so you know that's yours because you need to do two things you need to scale things that's what i would do is say okay update my machine so later on you do the update things will come in but you need to check two things is the new guy coming in and is the new app coming in and that's the difficulty the new app has 0 22 and the newer guy right has r and something a number 2642 i think it was right we need to get the git version in and a scale okay so stay safe update your machines i'll release these packages they're coming out of testing they will go on the repos out of the testing and you'll have to keep track of whatever you're having already maybe right a backup but you do know maybe we should include it in the video right each time i create a scale and i've done a few scales as you see each time you type the letters scale not in capital eric but like this it will create a backup so the config mine is going to be near as well the hyper mine so yes you never lose anything but know that there is a change so what i do to keep everything let's keep let's keep educating right let's now i am on qwerty thank you for the scale right thank you very much don't want that so now i have to do super q now or actually super a on my keyboard to <laughs> quit a window i go back and i compare and i say no no i want my belgian keyboard again and i want my settings again and yes it's normal if you do scale that everything is white so reboot voila i need to get back my azerty stuff that's it so because melt is white i get this reminder reboot eric reboot let hyperland um, work so remember to go over all the packages that we have and have fun again with hyperland all right cheers